Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus. We are here at VRDC and I'm joined here by... Chris Orris with Stereo Labs. So, there's a guy in the background with a lightsaber and something on his headset. What is this all about? Well, he's wearing a regular Oculus Rift, as you can see, but the thing in front is a Z Mini, and it's a stereo depth sensor. Mm -hmm. So it's got two regular cameras, and they're separated, just like our eyes. So one regular camera, another regular camera, and there's no infrared or anything happening. But from just those two videos, it's able to gather the depth of the area, whatever he looks at, and then from that, it's able to map the, envi uh, the environment in real time, and okay, that's a lot of technical stuff, but the end result is he's able to transform a regular VR headset, like a Vive or a Rift, into a mixed reality headset. So he's looking at the real world, he can see me looking at him, but he's also seeing virtual elements as well. So there's drones flying around um, that are hiding behind things, shooting lasers. You've got lights. It's casting virtual lights, but it's, it's casting red light on tables, our faces. Um, he can shoot us with lasers and all, all that just by slapping the sensor in front of a real, a regular VR headset you can buy right now. Mm -hmm. So this is what you're developing, and when is it coming out? It's coming out early November, but we can pre-order it today if you want for $449 using a link that should be below us somewhere. What's so exciting about this? Why do we have to be excited about this? What can developers do with this? Sure, so with mixed reality, if, if you want the, the real environment and the virtual environment working well together from a headset, um, right now you're looking at um, something like a, a, a HoloLens or a, a Meta Kit. Um, you know, we've got a, it's... And a, not a, a Windows Mixed Reality headset? Or a mi Mixed Reality, you've got a few options, yeah. But, um, but generally, you know, right now everyone's trying to make the standalone headset. They want the goggles or something, um, no tether or anything, um, the, the see-through display. And the, it's really cool technology. They're, they're doing a really good job, but it's going to take a while before it's super comfortable, right? So you've got really low FOV. It's, it's sort of translucent. Things are sort of see-through. Um, and it's very, very expensive. But what we can do here is just slap this sensor in front of a VR headset that most of you have already for under half a grand. And now you can develop mixed reality and play mixed reality. Not only is it simple and affordable, but also you've got a full 110 degrees field of view, which a lot of the current headsets that are multiple thousands of dollars can't do. Um, it's, it's opaque. And then because you're running on discrete desktop graphics, you've got full amazing graphics. You've got big explosions that cast yellow light on things. Um, it's really, it's, it's the, the mixed reality that we really, really want, um, and it's affordable. The only downside is it's tethered, but whatever, that's not a big deal it if you want to play. It has a USB cable? Yeah, it has a USB 3.0 cable you got to plug in, um, but that's about the only limitation. Right, so mm -hmm. um, there's no battery pack, there's no extra stuff that you need to buy on top of it, and you can use it with only an Oculus Rift and HTC Vive, or can you put it on just any headset? At the moment, yeah, uh, Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. So it is a developer product, so it's, it's not like you just run out and play a million games already. Uh, you got to do a little bit, but um, yeah, if, if you do make Unity games, anything like that, it's, it's super easy. Just have the sensor, plug it in, install a little bit of software, and you're good. Is it specifically for Unity, or does it work with any other game engines like Unreal as well? Oh yeah, it, uh, it works with Unreal. When the product launches, we're gonna ship a plugin that works with that. We have a plugin already for Unity, but then also if you, for some reason, you're not using Unreal or Unity, you've got your own game engine. We have a full SDK that you can work with, so uh, it's, it's really whatever you're developing for, you can make it work. And the people who've tried it out already, they've had like a little sneak peek. Mm -hmm. What is the feedback? Well, everyone, honestly, they, they like it a lot. Um, people are, they are coming up with ideas for it. Um, one dude said, oh, I'm making this escape room game. This would be perfect for that because you've got the real and the virtual. Uh, other people just think it's really, really cool that it exists. Um, yeah, they, they keep telling us all these different problems they can solve with it, you know, like at trade shows. Even just not having to, you can notice it's actually doing inside out tracking. So he's wearing a, uh, a Rift, but he doesn't have the Rift sensors here. So one guy wants one just so he doesn't need to take up as many USB ports uh, just for that, you know. So um, yeah, everyone just gets excited. This guy's been playing it for like 10 minutes now. I don't know. Um, very positive. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So where can we go to find out more information about your product? Sure. So Stereolabs.com tells you a little more about the company, and that's where you go to buy our original sensor. But if you want to pre-order the Z Mini, um, the link somewhere below, wherever you put it. <laughs> and are you guys developing anything else besides this as well? Uh, at the moment, this is what we're focused on, as far as what I can say. But we've got a lot of exciting things in the pipeline. Fantastic. Well, thank All you right. so much. Thank you. And head over to vrfocus.com if you want to find out any more about what is going on in the future or what is coming from the future. And I will see you there.